Heather, thank you so much. A lot of eyes, though, focused on the forecast for tomorrow, right, Michael? Yeah, absolutely. 24 hours from now, we will be in the midst of Roswell Park's Tree of Hope celebration. You'll see it tomorrow evening right here on Channel 2. Our coverage goes from 4 until 630, including that all important tree lighting event. Now, while this isn't open to the public this year, a few of us will still be out there live in what sounds like pretty decent weather, and that includes six year old Silas, who survived cancer and will lead the countdown to lighting the tree. We certainly hope you'll join us. And you know, most years, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown would normally be there to celebrate this important event. We're sure that he's going to be watching from home like so many other folks and the mayor. He joins us live right now. Mayor, thank you so much for your time. We know that this is an important event for you. Thank you, Heather and Michael. Good to be with you. So Mayor Channel 2 televises this event every year. Um, we always see you there. You've been part of this celebration for such a long time. Um, usually we're joined by what hundreds of people they're celebrating. This year, of course, it's a little bit different. Um, tell us about what you're going to miss about the event this year and, and uh, how much you would encourage everybody to still take part in it. The Tree of Hope is just so inspirational, so uplifting. Uh, there's such a warm thing, such a feeling of hope and optimism in the assembly, the people that are assembled there. I will miss the camaraderie with all of the people. I uh, certainly will miss uh, seeing Silas light the Tree of Hope in person, but Michelle and I will be cheering from home. It's just a beautiful event. It's an uplifting event. It's an inspirational event. And Mayor, this event means a whole lot to the community. You've talked in the past about what a great community partner Roswell has been for so many years. And really, we're so fortunate to have a cancer center right here in our own backyard, right? You know, we really are. Even with all of the challenges and difficulties we've all faced, in 2020, Roswell has continued to be a place of hope and healing in our community. Uh, just yesterday, a friend of mine called me and uh, told me that his mother had been diagnosed with cancer and they are able to, to turn to Roswell Park right here in our community for consultation and treatment and hope that she can get through this. So we are very fortunate to have this great cancer center for community. In fact, uh, again, for the second straight year, uh, Roswell Park was ranked number 14 of 900 cancer centers by US News and World Report. Again, making our community proud and uh, causing us to recognize how blessed we are have a facility like this in the city of Buffalo, in Erie County, and in Western New York. Yeah, no doubt. And we're going to be highlighting some of the successes at Roswell tomorrow. Mayor, less than a minute left here, but you know, this is called Tree of Hope. We need hope now, perhaps more than ever in the thick of this pandemic. What is your message to Buffalo and Western New York about hope this holiday season? Again, we're, we're running short on time, but think this is important. Uh, my message is there are so many people in our community showing why we're the uh, city of good neighbors doing things to help others. When we look at Roswell Park, Candace Johnson, uh, the president and CEO, has continued uh, to deliver services with her amazing team of professionals and healthcare workers to keep people safe and provide them with treatment even during this difficult time in our community. All right, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for joining us. All right, Mayor, thank thanks. You thank you so much. Good to see you. And thank you, everybody, for watching on this Thursday. We hope you'll tune in tomorrow again for that special broadcast of the Tree of Hope. And a quick reminder, Scott and Mary Alice will lead team coverage on the big vaccine news today. That's coming up on Channel 2 News at 6, right after this quick break.